And we are ready to go before a very big Saturday night crowd here in downtown North. Think it'll be Kurtz at center ice against Michael Lotta for the opening draw. Puck down, we're underway, and the chocolate brown clad Bears win the draw. Back to the defense, but forcing a turnover in the Bears end. That's the kind of hard nosed play that has certainly earned Norm Ezekiel a lot. Stortini, Kurtz, and Ezekiel together on a line, and the faceoff knocked right back by Norfolk behind the goal line. Picked up by the Bears, Steve Alexi, as he gets hit hard by Stortini. The puck goes down ice, and now Stortini will drop away the gloves and helmets. He'll be challenged by Patrick Weller, and we'll have our first fight of the weekend. It'll be down near the Hershey Blue Line. Two tough veterans in Stortini and Weller. They come together, a right from Weller, a right from Stortini. They're exchanging right hands, an overhand right from Weller may have caught Stortini. He battles back with a right hand of his own. He tries an uppercut that doesn't connect. Weller trying to jerk the jersey up by the face of Stortini. Now he gets Weller off balance, and Stortini pops him with a short right hand. Weller goes to the ice with Stortini down on top of him. Zach Stortini of the Apples, the league leader in penalty minutes, getting the crowd into it early. A good battle there with Patrick Weller, who came to the defense of his teammate, Steve Alexi, who was railroaded into the sideboards on a great hit by Stortini. Probably more energy in the building here in the opening three minutes tonight than we saw all of last night, at least from the Norfolk side. That was a good battle, too. Both Weller and Stortini got in a couple of shots, and then Stortini delivering a little right hand that Send Weller down with Stortini on top of him. Championship season. Bears across to Deschamps. One timer knocked out in front, picked up and knocked in right in front of the goal for a power play tally. That looked like Michael Lotta to pick up a loose puck after the Atlas had blocked the initial shot. It's a Hershey power play goal. Lotta scoring for the second time in as many nights. One nothing Bears. That goal comes with only four seconds remaining on the Hershey power play. The last couple of years in Rochester, and now his first season in Hershey. Here come the Bears into the Antwell zone. They grab a puck left side ring. Big blasting shot save made. Rebound tip by Deschamps. Another Gibson denial. The first shot coming from Siegel, and then Deschamps for the follow-up. Two big saves. Back to back there by the Admiral goaltender. He smacks it back behind the net again. Edom trying to tap it back out in front. Soro chipping in the front. Has an man, a backhand shot to score. Andre Peterson in his second Admiral goal. All oh, hands on deck as Peterson backhands one in from the near side of Valencia, tying the game at a goal apiece. Edom and Soro should get the helpers on Peterson's 18th of the year and his first in a Norfolk uniform. Bears back on side at center. Skated in by Schmidt. Dishes to the right ring. A big driving shot is high and wide. Meanwhile, Schmidt on the other side of the ice got cracked down to the ice. He's injured. Atwell's coming back with Whitney. Whitney centering low. Has a man a shot. Chris Wagner has scored. A goal for Wagner. And the Admirals have their second of the period and have taken the lead. Didn't look like Wagner got much of that, but enough to deflect it behind Leggio. Off the great feed by Whitney as he was being knocked to the ice. Meanwhile, Schmidt for the Bears down injured at the other end of the ice. And he's still down. Peterson near the edge of the rink, back of the high slot to Gagne, over to the right wall for Edom. Edom from the dot, back to Gagne again with a shot, deflection, score! It looked like Max Freeberg got a piece of it. Gagne let it fly, and Admiral tipped it, and Norfolk with a three to one lead on what should be a 13th goal of the year. The rookie from Sweden, Max Freeberg. going to find it. Steckel does. Steckel from the blue line sends it for the empty net just wide as the horn sounds and the game comes to an end. 
But off the Admirals bouncing back from their setback last night. A tremendous effort this evening. Three second period goals propel them to a win as they knock off their rivals from Chocolatown tonight by the final score of three to one.